Americans are looking to work at companies that are diverse and inclusive. Let's take a look at how one company offers that diversity. We're talking black excellence now. Joining us now to talk about that is executive at Disney, Carmen Smith. She's vice president of the executive creative development and inclusion strategies team for Walt Disney Imagineering. Welcome to BNC, Carmen. Well, thank you so much for having me, Laverne. It's indeed an honor. It's an honor for us. And you know, who doesn't love Disney? But let's talk about the business side of it, the background. Your, your title sounds amazing. Tell us, what do you do in your role? Well, at uh, Walt Disney Imagineering, I'm responsible for making sure that our experiences reflect the world that we live in. And so I sit on probably most of our projects, uh, those that are currently in progress. And I also take a look at what we already have uh, in our parks, resorts, in our attractions, and on our cruise ships around the world. And uh, I make sure that we are relevant, that we are connecting with our guests, and that we reflect the world. Uh, because again, our responsibility as storytellers is to make sure that people see themselves and they hear themselves. Absolutely. So let's talk about the business end of things. How can more African Americans get into executive positions at Disney? How exactly is the company advancing their inclusion and equity and diversity initiatives? Well, the company has a, a variety of uh, projects in place that are giving a spotlight to a lot of our African American executives throughout the Walt Disney Company. I can only really speak on behalf of Walt Disney Imagineering but for us, our intention and our goal at all times is to make sure that as we tell our stories and we look around the table, that that table reflects, you know, um, a mindset, a tool set and a skill set and, and the different cultures that come to our parks and resorts. So I look at uh, my journey at, uh, Walt Dis at the Walt Disney Company at Walt Disney Imagineering, which spans about 38 years. And I think that, you know, as an executive, um, what I always try to tell uh, people that are interested in whether they're moving in at a lower level or that they want to continue to grow their career is that we always have to be mindful in terms of continuing to develop our skill set, to always know that learning is something that happens every day of our lives. And I think that relationship building, developing mentorships, having champions could have work along with us. And having people that sponsor us is incredibly important, I think, to continue to rise in the organization as an executive. So what do you see moving forward for Disney? We know, of course, COVID uh, has been, you know, a challenge, of course, but in terms of growth, uh, what are you seeing in terms of what's happening at Disney? Well, I, 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 yes, COVID has, it has impacted us, absolutely, but it hasn't stopped us from working. I probably put in a good 13 hours a day, every day. But one of the things that uh, I, we talked about earlier uh, last year is that I'm currently working with a team of incredible people on the Princess Tiana adventure, uh, which is coming soon. And although we are experiencing COVID, it hasn't stopped us from continuing with, with our creative process but also bring to the table people that help us as we think about telling a story that is both fantastical and also real. And so for us, when we think about what's coming in the future, working alongside us, Dr. Janetta Cole, historian Spencer Crew, child psychologist, jazz authorities. And so for us, it has been incredibly active and I'm excited about our future and the experiences that I know I get to really enjoy. Well, let's talk about Princess Tiana. I mean, it was a long time before Disney had a black princess. I'm so excited to hear you say you're working on uh, more with her character. Tell us about how Disney feels about the re relevance uh, to their customers. Let's face it, you know, families and children everywhere love to go to Disney. Uh, you wanna see people that look like yourself. Tell us about the importance of Princess Tiana, because she's not just like one of the other princesses. She's not, you know, she is our first African-American princess, but she's also our first American princess, you know, and for us to have the opportunity to bring her to life, 
because you know when you think about her character you know this is a character that was that a, that has an entrepreneurial mindset that is that thinks about her community and the people around her that has a, a generosity of spirit and being able to create an experience that is both celebratory that gives little girls of every walk of life but in particular african american girls an opportunity to see um, a role model to see a, a princess yes but to see someone that has advanced in their career and that has ownership and that has agency in the destiny of her life so for you as a woman of color who has done incredibly in your career at disney how does it make you feel knowing that uh, the company is advancing the narratives of black women because i'm sure when you when you started there was no such thing as as a black princess yeah when i started probably back in 1982 um i was in news at the time but um and working on documentaries but i would say that you know i feel um i'm honored because when you work at imagineering in particular you know our goal is to create new memories our goal is to make people feel valued, uh, to make people know that we care about them. And so for us, you know, creating new experiences that expand our guests, uh, their interests, whether it is around ability, around generation, around culture, all those things are so important to us. And it is, it's the reason why I think we all get up every morning and come, well, actually come in our homes and working at our, our dining room tables because the work is so important, you know, and telling stories that make people feel valued um, is, that's, to me, that's a front burner issue. And it's a, it's a really and truly the highest priority at the Walt Disney Company. Well, Carmen, we have to go, but we appreciate your passion and we salute you. Obviously, you being a woman and a woman of color at Disney in this high profile position is really inspiring. And I know you've certainly earned it and had your challenges along the way. But thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Laverne, thank you for having me.